all right everyone here we are with the s p 500 index another video here with invest for tomorrow and we're going to talk about the most recent pump and the previous ones leading up to this point and some things about the chart that are showing us indications of stimulus talks and so forth so there's a lot of things we're going to cover here in this video i look forward to sharing all the information and stay tuned till the end because this is the last pump date of this scheduled time frame, and I'm going to talk about some different scenarios according to what's going on. So stay tuned for that. But before we jump into the chart, I want to announce to everyone the website that I have created this week. It just launched investfortomorrow.com. I highly encourage you guys to go check it out. A lot of people were asking me if I had a members group or a forum or a private group chat. And here it is. I created the website. And you will have access to becoming a member it's optional there's a little intro video highly encourage you guys to check it out to get a little bit of more insight on the purpose of the website and going forward what's the outlook and what's the goal right to build a community of investors where we can all learn and grow together while making some money so we have the stock picks forum where i post weekly and monthly stock picks to watch daily watch lists according to their momentum and gathering of investors is where every single investor can rendezvous, come together, and speak about their knowledge and experiences, and where all investors will maintain their integrity and honesty. So this is a great place for investors to gather and learn and grow. As the website expands and the members and groups expand in the gathering of investors, there will be a lot of great things to go ahead and learn from. I look forward to obviously having a larger group over time and then everyone sharing their knowledge and experiences and helping one another learn and grow this is a great place where uh, investors will be able to ask questions and receive answers now how to manage the intangible this is a further expansion of just talking about stocks so that's the goal here about investfortomorrow.com you're not just going to learn about stocks you're going to learn about other areas of investing and finance according to invest for tomorrow's experiences and also research so we're going to talk about credit credit score and what builds a credit score and how to better manage it and have more control over that score because a lot of people make their payments on time but don't see their credit score moving up so there's some tips and tricks in there that i will start sharing now you have to choose one of the member options and according to the member option that you choose you'll gain access to certain things on the website now you have to choose one or the other to be able to gain full access to the forums and all the information I will be posting. I haven't posted anything yet. I will be posting in two weeks. And keep in mind, you go to members options and you choose and select one and it is optional. This is a great way to continue to further support the channel and the purpose and goal of Invest for Tomorrow moving forward. But it's optional. The website is optional and the YouTube will continue to stay the same and nothing's going to change here on YouTube, okay? So I want everybody to be aware of that. I don't want anyone to say, hey, you didn't tell me. I want every single investor and viewer to be aware of it. It's gonna be in the description down below. I'll post the link. So here we are with the S&P 500 index. So we talked about the most recent pump. What was the possibility on how Monday would turn out and the most recent pump obviously was on the first so the 30th it actually started to fall leveled itself back up and here we reached at around a low here of 36.20 and this is already the first and it went to highs here of about 36.78 when you do the math that's almost a 58 point jump that's what i'm talking about that's what these pumps do these pumps bring the stocks up right a total amount of about either 30 cents to three dollars per share individual stocks but the s p 500 moves up anywhere from 20 to 50 80 point jumps and that right there is bringing individual stocks up with it obviously afterwards there's the volatility but on the date of these pumps we are seeing the market go up higher and higher now ideally the purpose of these pumps is to bring the market back up to levelization so this was one of the most recent pumps earlier in the month right last month and that's when the scheduled date started we're going to look at it right here so the first one was on the 17th we have the 24th the first 
And this is our upcoming pump on the 8th, right? So we have the uncertainty of Monday, what's going to happen, and then we have the 8th. So let's go ahead and see here on the 17th. So the 17th, it fell, it hit lows, and it brought itself up. I draw the line here so you can see how it leveled off. Now, the next pump was later on on the 24th. So you can see that that week, all the way leading up to the next pump, was actually kind of in a downward trend. And these pumps are meant to level off the market. You could see here how on the 24th, it brought itself back up to previously where it was because it had fell in this direction. Without these pumps, the market would continue going in this direction over time. But it doesn't do that. These pumps hover it back up. It kind of falls, hover it back up. And then there we go. It builds that momentum. When you add news and speculation to these pumps, and the excitement of innovation of different companies, earnings, and the outlook, and so forth, and investors being attracted to the market, this continues to bring itself up. Now, you could see here, based off of this one right here, how I leveled back off, and you can see here after a week, that if it wasn't for the pump, then it would have just probably kind of hanged out down here, or went lower, and the pump brings it back up and levels it off to build that momentum, and then it attracts investors to come back in. And we could see quickly right after, a few days after, it fell. It fell leading on to Monday. And then on Tuesday, all that speculation and hope for the next pump started to rally up. And then you could see where it brought itself to newer highs. So these pumps ideally hold the market up. Now, by doing so, it creates this upward movement, which is pretty good. I've circled all the different dates of the pumps. You can see that every single time on those dates, the market is going up and there's individual ticker symbols going up with it. So what, what are we looking for now this upcoming week? So last week, it actually slowly dipped, leveled off. And on the date of the pump, it brought itself back up and it leveled right back off where it left off and slightly above it. So what are we going to see here for this upcoming week? Since it's been in a rally, right it could probably continue the rally in hopes of a stimulus being passed right that's right now what the market is feeling overall and also it could slowly dip like it did last week and bring itself back up now i personally believe that it could actually slowly dip and level off it's gonna end up back down um, and level off and then tuesday it'll bring itself back up and level off right where it left off or go above it, just like it did last week. I believe it's gonna do something similar to this. Um, it doesn't mean that it is going to, but I think that it's going to level off a little bit and start off the week a little bit down, and then Tuesday bring itself back up and either rebalance or break through it and hit newer highs, which is possible. Now, the other scenario which most people will probably say this is the one that is actually going to happen due to the fact that there's excitement and the hope and the speculation of a bill being passed for stimulus. This is actually going to bring itself up and level off at a newer high. And on the day of the pump, it just brings itself up to newer highs, which is possible as well. So this is Monday and then Tuesday's the date of the pump and it goes up to newer highs. That is another scenario that is possible. I personally think it's going to slowly dip, level off, and on the date of the pump, bring itself back up and rebalance right where it left off or bring itself up to newer highs. So we need to watch this closely. And what I wanted to talk about is how this is the last pump in this scheduled period. It was from 11.16 to 12.11. 12.11 is this Friday. So... This pump is going to re-level off the market overall, but we need to watch this closely how it's going to react the 9th, the 10th, and the 11th. I'm not saying that those are considered right off the bat red days because of the fact that there's no scheduled pumps. If people in the market or the market overall feels excited that there will be pumps released again on the 11th, then we won't see this go in this direction. It is possible it can slightly start to fall after Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But 
if the market itself knows that it is coming and there's more pumps coming and stimulus is on its way and we're getting closer to a stimulus package being approved and agreed on and actually going through then the market's actually going to hold itself up or maybe slightly bring itself up a little bit higher not significantly like a crazy jump but hold itself up until the next pump and on the next pump we would see the market overall continue this upward direction that it already has built momentum here since the drop of the beginning of november and since right here at around november 6 it's just been running up over time but we need to watch this closely we need to see what's going to happen but after tuesday wednesday thursday and friday we want to pay close attention there's uncertainty there because the next release date is friday the 11th they could say hey pumps are done or hey these are the next scheduled pumps pay close attention to them they are coming up on these dates on these dates on these dates so we need to see what's going on there's going to be a little bit of uncertainty so after tuesday the market overall could be a little rocky but if stimulus talks are being agreed on or confirmed and giving hope to the market overall and building speculation then it's going to attract more investors and forget about the pump date the next one the market's going to hold itself up and continue to rise for the rest of the week but if stimulus talks are still delayed and we're getting closer but nothing's approved yet then we want to pay very close attention to what is going on wednesday thursday and friday because yes tuesday will happen and either it'll fall down and bring itself back up on tuesday and level off or it'll bring itself up on monday and hit newer highs on tuesday but after that it will actually start to bring itself back down till Friday and then the market could be rocky overall or it can hold itself up in the sideways movement and we'll have to see what's going on like not much going down not much going up or it will continue to run up because stimulus talks are getting approved or that hope and speculation so this week is going to be very interesting we're going to have to watch closely what is going on monday pay close attention to the two scenarios how is it going to happen pay close attention to what's going on so that you can go ahead and know what is going to work best for you after doing your due diligence and research and rationalize as an investor and again i'm always here doing these videos to show you guys and confirm how these dates actually are affecting the market and how these pumps are actually making the s p 500 rise up several points making individual ticker symbols rise up with it but i'm not here to tell you to buy sell or hold anything in particular i'm just here to inform you on an opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses based off the charts and what they're showing this week again up till tuesday we know we have the pump we have to see how stimulus talks continue throughout this week and after Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it could get a little rocky or it can kind of stay stable or run up due to the hope and speculation. So you want to watch closely what's going on. And based off what happens, rationalize how you're going to go about the market. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.